this powder is the graphene powder that we made with the tea and the acetone water and it comes out uh, kind of snowy like uh, little snowflakes when it comes out of the the blender Let's see if I can get a, a better image here Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so you how I did okay, it. Okay, let's see how we did this. First of all, I take the large flake graphite, number one <clears throat> graphite, which is high grade carbon and that's what it looks like we'll put it down in the blender <clears throat> then we'll take just regular tea that you would drink like for breakfast <clears throat> and that keeps it in suspension you don't have to use a lot you can see I'm not measuring anything now acetone and water the um, 70 30 mixture this is what I've reused over and over again <clears throat> yeah and it has um, graphene and suspension and I put that in there and we'll cap it off and start it up on a slow blend. Now all we have to do is run that for about 30 minutes and then <clears throat> it will stay in suspension and I filter it in my filter, which is just a bed sheet at 800 count. And then I let it dry and it becomes the nice snowy powder <clears throat> but it's black okay here we go I'll show you in just a second this is the graphene in the T suspension as you can see it stays suspended this is over a week old Here is the spongy graphene after we've taken it out. Okay, we're going to take a resistance reading on it. I have a positive net electrode <clears throat> just laying on it. I'm going to just lay the negative electrode on the powder and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to apply a pressure to it. Yeah, I'm going to apply pressure to the positive and to the negative. Down to 50 something ohms. I'm going to tamp it down. See what we get. 34 ohms. <clears throat> 
and that's the powder and that's made with acetone water and like um, iced tea makings without the sugar okay